Ring's huge. Wow. 27. So we're just going for the crossbowman, are we? Two, four, five. Yep. Stand your ground. Oh my goodness! So good. What's up, you legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. For today, I've put together another Nilk Guard list for you. The leader ability that we're going to be using is Imperial Formation. What this is, is a soldier's list, which is why we're using this leader, because it does synergize with soldier units. So we're doing a crossbowman spam with this deck. I've done a few different variations of pikeman spam, but I've come around to the crossbowman to see how we can make that work with a different leader. Typically, I'm usually using the imprisonment leader uh, with the soldier decks that I put together. But considering we're playing crossbowmen, maybe Imperial Formation is better because it provides more armor. It can keep these units protected and can help to synergize with their barricade. Um, so yeah, the leader ability works in this fashion. Boost an allied unit by two. We've got three charges. Once all charges are used up, move a unit from your deck to the top. Um, whenever you're playing a soldier, give it one armor for each adjacent soldier. So when we're playing soldiers, we want to be stacking them side by side or in between adjacent soldiers. And the way I like to use leader is you can use it into round two to push for a bleed. And bear in mind that we're moving a unit to the top of our deck. And I'll form this deck in an interesting way with leader. Um, what we're looking to do is put a unit of our choice at the top of our deck. What I like to go for is Obviously, because we're playing Calvate, when we play Calvate, we end up stacking a lot of lower-costed stuff at the bottom of our deck, and we may not find it again. So my idea with this leader is that if we missed Illusionist, let's say, Illusionist is pretty important in this deck, we can use leader to move Illusionist to the top of our deck into round two to help with a bleed, and then you can play Joachim, and Joachim ends up playing it, right? So that way we don't miss out on that important bronze card and then we still get to dig into our golds as well so that's kind of the idea there so the stratagem that we're using is magic lamp transform into lamp gin token unit that you see here there's when we go first only of course um, what i'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card and when to play it during a match so to begin with we've got a number of bronze cards that you can see down here the Illusionist is of particular importance for our overall strategy because that's what we're going to be looking to use in order to spawn a maximum amount of the Crossbowman unit. So we will be putting the Crossbowman from our hand into our opponent's graveyard and then we can use the Illusionist to spawn copies of the Crossbowman. This will occur into round two and three. We're not going to be looking to commit the Illusionist round one necessarily. Um, it's going to be a one power copy, but on bonded, it won't be a one power copy. When you play the illusionist, stack the illusionist together so that we can place Vrigif between them and get better overall value and activation out of Vrigif. So what I like to do with the illusionist is if you find one, probably keep it in hand because it is nice to play um, an extra copy through the use of this. But if not, you can tuck the other illusionist back into the deck. And like I said, we can use the method with Joachim to get it out. So then you could search for something else, perhaps. So play the Illusionist out into round two and three. Battle preparation. So we've got a lot of tactics in this deck because we're playing Calvate to ensure that we get Calvate as early as possible in the match. For the most part, for the majority of the time, I find Calvate round one, which is pretty nice. Um, this allows us to boost a soldier by six and give it two armor that's what we're aiming for when playing battle preparation because we're playing so many soldiers should play good in a list like this perhaps you could use battle preparation to give armor to a crossbowman that's lost it so then it can still stay active with the barricade so obviously with these tactics that we're going through you kind of use them as you need to during a match double tony just it just offers us some control we get to remove an enemy unit shield, damage it by four, give an allied unit a shield, boost it by four. 
ointment does make sense in a deck like this because we're playing so many soldiers if a soldier gets damaged down or the illusionist to spawn a one power copy of it we get to heal it first and then boost it by five it's pretty good to help with getting round control and tempo in certain situations i am running the blight maker blight maker package which is pretty typical for me in my decks um i do like the tempo it gives us and thinning so you're just playing the blight maker down when you play the blight maker down it allows you to choose a card from your deck to move to the top the card you're going to move is mage assassin the mage assassin gets drawn out to the board two points of random damage and you get to spawn the guardian as well so it's some nice tempo that we get there so the idea is that you always keep both mage assassins in your deck at all times and have the blight makers on you round one to help get round control so with a crossbowman here what we want to do is look to have one in hand at all times just so we can use Vilgefort's Renegade to put this into the opponent's graveyard. Um, so this allows us to damage an enemy unit by two on deploy. Barricade, damage a random enemy unit by one whenever you're playing a soldier. So we're going to get some pretty good activation out of the barricade the way that I formulated this list as you'll guys see in the following matches. But go ahead and use one, put it into the opponent's graveyard. With the other, you can play it by hand. Probably um, once you've got the rest of the bowmen down, this will be the last bowmen you put down, perhaps. Good thing about this is that it gives you some direct pings of damage. It could come in handy sometimes. So because we're playing cross bowmen, I've gone with more soldiers in this deck. So we're using the armored cavalry unit here to offer some more control, lock an enemy unit. It's melee row locked. We have two of these, which is pretty good. Makes our deck a bit more flexible in what it can do. Um, I'd suggest leaving the melee row probably free, only to play truffle there and whatever else. But when you're going to do the whole crossman, crossbowman spam, probably do that ranged row just in case you, know, you close up your room to play this card there. So you're going to kind of use these as you need to during a match. Blightmaker we covered. Round one play. This unit here boosts an allied soldier and all copies of it by two. I think it is nice to have this card in this deck because we've got a few different duplicates that we're running. Um, you know, we've got illusionists. We're going to have a number of illusionists. We're going to have a number of crossbowmen. And we've got two cavalry units. So I feel like we do have a number of backups for this card. So really what's going to happen is you're probably either looking to, to boost all the crossbowmen or the illusionists um in our case during a match with this card and like i said with this list i think we want to pretty much 2-0 or bleed so yeah commit this in round two if you like it's fine with frigga here trigger the deploy abilities of adjacent bronze soldiers really looking to play this in between the illusionists and by doing so we get extra crossbowmen spammed out more pings of damage pretty nice um little point swing when this happens as well so it's like a round two card, probably safest, because if you're going to go into a short round three, Vrigov can be a little bit uh, sus, because you might not have the cards you need to get value out of him. Ring of Favor, everyone's very familiar with this. It starts in your hand, boosts off by two at the end of your turn. I've just put this in this list to help with us getting round control, good tempo round one. And yeah, it's nice. Maybe against Sea Hill decks, you could boost um, a Siren up when they spawn that on your side of the board. Gives us some flexibility, right? I think round control is pretty important with our list, so it makes sense to have this here. So with this unit here, spawn and play a base copy of a Bronze Soldier from your hand, giving it two armor. And just go for the Illusionist, my friends. That's what we want to do with him. Round two, I think, is pretty nice if we can save him then. And even more crossbowmen, even more illusionists coming out. Sounds great to me. Yes, with Joachim is a disloyal unit. So he's going to our opponent's side of the board when we play him. Play the top non-disloyal unit from your deck, boosting it by eight. Now, like I said, before we play Joachim, use your leader and set up the illusionist you might have missed um at the bottom of your deck after playing calvate so we're getting all our crossbowmen out 
into round two if we'd like to play it that way or if not put something else on top of your deck that you might like maybe you've got a lock in your deck that you need to answer something with on the board put that up top be a bit flexible with it we're going to play him twice anyway because we got coup so what we're looking to do is hit coup onto yoki um coup being this card here and then you know by doing so that's how we get a lot of activation out of the crossbowman this is a soldier unit being played it's going to play another soldier from our deck. You hit Q onto it, same thing happens again. So in my thinking, we probably want to save this big activation after we have our crossbowmen's spam across the board. And then we want to go into the illusionist through that and get the remaining ones and get that really good activation, okay? Calvate's a card we want to play around round one just to make sure we get all our gold cards into the subsequent round as we pull into them. Sorts the cards in your deck from the highest to the lowest provision cost. Pretty nice. Truffle. This is just to get another Illusionist. Spawning an extra crossbowman. Maybe you could play this late for round one. Um, if you're very eager on pushing for round control. But if not, it's a nice way to open up into round two. Um, Froth is nice. It can give you a bit of points to get out of the round maybe. Or to help you 2-0 the opponent. And it's resilience order, so you don't have to use it right away. Q we've discussed. We're really looking to use Q onto Joachim. In other circumstances, maybe if you damage something down, you could get the death blow with Q and then spawn up and play a base copy of it. That's also a consideration as well. Heatwave just gives us some control with this list to make it more flexible. Banish a unit or an artifact. Use this sparingly. You'd probably like to use this on a resilience unit, something with a tall boost, or pr preferably at the end of a match, just to win you the match, okay? And with Vilgefort's Renegade, he is really required in order to set up our strategy that we're going for here. Obviously, for the Illusionist to spawn the Crossbowman, the Crossbowman must be in our opponent's graveyard. So, I, I do like to kind of wait before I play Renegade, um... Wait till your opponent's played a really good card, right? Wait till they've played a tutor card that's an echo, like a Neuromancy. Maybe something else um, that they're going to replay and use later. Think of the meta. Think of the opponent's deck before you play it. Wait on it a bit. You could play it around one if you see something good. Maybe you, you take Tall Punish from the opponent's graveyard. So there's a few different options. I do like it. Because um, it allows you to swap a card from your opponent's graveyard with a card in your hand. So don't play Renegade until you've got Crossbowman in your hand. Crossbowman will only be placed into the opponent's graveyard this way. That's the whole way we're going to do this, all right? So like I said, round one or two, probably the latest at the beginning of round two. Okay, now that we've outlined the list, let me briefly explain how to execute the strategy for this deck as optimally as possible. So this is the line of play I would suggest you take. Round 1 cards potentially can be Renegade, Coup, you got Calvate, you do have Ring, that always plays with us round 1, maybe a Cavalry unit, Double Blight Maker package is fine, perhaps some tactics to get you round control, okay? Let's say we get round control like that. Into round 2, you can open up with Truffle, go Illusionist into Crossbowman, and then you're going to look to start to play this card into another Illusionist. Play Vrigath. Um, play your remaining Crossbowman out. Use Full Leader. Then you can place Illusionist at the top of your deck. Once you do that, you hit Yoakim. Get more units out of your deck. You hit Q onto it. You can pretty much 2-0 with this list in the right circumstance, I believe. And yeah, just play out your remaining cards from there. Calvate's going to make sure we get most of what we need into round two as it is anyway um if the 2-0 doesn't look like it's there you know consider the opponent's deck what kind of tempo they got to work with what the following round might look like how much you've committed if it's not there you could just pass go for a short round three but you know obviously you're gonna do that if the the remaining cards you have make sense if you've got some tempo left to work with so i hope you're gonna enjoy this list playing soldiers is always fun please share your feedback down below
Fuck you. I swear it upon the gods, I will avenge my father. Don't really have anything to answer that, do I? Maybe I can. I could hit Q onto it. We could get it for ourselves. We'll see what kind of a fury list this is. Taking the time. Definitely looking to play Calvate. We did miss the Blight Makers. Fortunately. He's a madman. We could probably just it. Yo, what's up, Jay? How are you? Yeah, probably a sea hill. Yep. Alright. Morning from DC. What's up, my friend? What deck are we playing? Soldiers. Crossbowmen. It's a crossbowman spam deck. Play it like that. Slash. Okay. Raider? Women, children, elders. Hmm. Rings on eleven. Participate meme decks. Uh, I may do so. My schedule is a bit tight at the moment, but I could come around to looking at it. What's up, Dougie? How are you, my friend? So, should we keep pushing? I mean, Renegade's pretty good onto the 11 there as well. For later. Maybe we don't want to give them round control. I could also play one Illusionist. There's a few things to do. Their kingdoms will collapse. Just leave it as it is. Hey Lord Kate, what's up? Just hanging out before I got a crash. Sweet. Thanks for coming on, appreciate it. Versus Seahill in this matchup. So I just used my leader to work around the um, sirens. Zubidu, so what's up my man? How's the gaming going?
Don't mention it. It's a pleasure. You deserve it, dude. Hey, what's up, my friends? Not too bad. Um, this is my first match on the stream. So are we winning on even or what? Okay. Nice. Thanks for the message, cool. Okay, no worries. Sure thing. Cool, check it out. I think we got most of what we need here. Frigif's definitely good to hit with with Q. Q into Joachim gets us that. Then we're gonna get a Blight Maker, are we? We just open with this to begin with. And yeah, just go for the bleed. Pretty good round one for us. I like how it turned out. Our lead is actually good in this kind of a matchup. It can deny them some pretty good value. So yep, yeah, we can go ahead with it. There we go. Nice. Can play the other one. Play this unit first though. Play that onto the other illusionist. Good. Shoot down. I think we have an idea of what they're trying to do. <laughs> kind of don't want to overcrowd Melee Row, maybe. History shall remember the arms being. Let's do that. In today's meta, um, they can be okay. Depends on the kind of build you go for. I think this build's interesting because we've got a lot of defense with our armor. So yeah, it can protect you from control. But then again, some people run surrender in their decks. You shall never find peace. Okay, well, I can't really do much about blocking all that now. So I think we're a little clogged in the melee row for Vrigif, unless they kill something. Two, four, six, seven. Hey, Moashiro, what's up? How are you? What is it? Still looking good for us. Should I wait on it? Hold on, what was that at the top again? It's Frigif, right? Frigif and a Blight Maker. Maybe we just do it? Maybe we do it like this then? This way we can still do damage and we get a spawn so it's not a complete waste. You are dogs. Do you 
Oh, look at that, man. Ow. Saving up to 1v1 me? <laughs> Why not? Be a pleasure. Yeah. Blightmaker is going to be... Well, I was going to say, Blightmaker is going to be great points. Anyway, we pretty much handled that match really well. We're going first? Great. We really just want to out-tempo their list. And... We're coming around to that. Okay. I forgive. Just go for the 2 0 pretty much. So they're going to open up with some hand boosting right away, most likely. Thanks for the follow, I really appreciate it. They're going for it. <laughs> That's it. It's really what we need for ramp control, I'm telling you. It's great to have them. I, I usually go for them in NG lists. Cause you need tempo. Don't you? You'll regret your mum ever squirted you out. You should not have come. Oh my goodness. They're threatening me. That unit was already boosted, boosted by three. I'm being threatened, my friends. I bring death. Yes, Thanatos. <laughs> That's it. Yep, yeah, so they go on leader pretty early. We do have a lock. Pull down one. Could coup it. So we get one point per turn of damage that way. Most likely Devotion deck. If it's Invigorate, they play Talk. Alright. Why should I, an elf, a sage, converse with an ape? It's pretty good tempo. Kind of a low roll, no? Right. It's fine. Circle. From here, not even compost. Okay. <laughs> it's got birds on his side. What am I gonna do, man? It's pretty strong. That's interesting. Wow. Yeah, really pushing hard here. Just the by three. Rings on 15. Days 
Wow, poisons. You fight well. Alright. So going down by eleven, are we? Pretty strange, you think? The woods shall turn against you. Bountiful harvest. Taking him to the edge here, for sure. Mm-hmm. And? What else? Oh! Right. Yeah, that's a bit of points, isn't it? Above sabotage, you'll find yourself below ground. I mean, we got some good things out of them, too. Shiru. What do you want? What? Not used, though. I think we're just going all in, man. What do we got here? All right. Shiru's at four. No, not a fan. Hey, we got talk out, man. Alright. Round one, hearts and wine. <laughs> we gotta win it. We weren't able to, though. But how many cards did we get out of them there? We're going card down, but I got truffle. That's a resilience. They just pass, huh? I'm sure of it. Really? Going for it? Okay. We'll see. Reality is that which though you believe it is more does not go. If only it didn't have a shield. Crap! <laughs> that bloody shield saved them! Alright! 
Alright. Still got resilience. They need their cards buff to work good though too. So what's their idea for this strat? What else is coming up? Frigif. Yeah, okay. We'll see. Let's have a look. I think we still got some good options here. History shall remember the art of being. Oh, the other illusionist next to the other. Alright. Don't unitless on me. Watch close. Okay. Joachim next. Joachim's pretty good point slam with Riga here, man. Very solid. It's pretty good tempo. Gonna do some pings of damage too. Heat wave's nice to have here. And opponent plays. It's not an easy choice. When the white frost comes, okay. I still got something to damage down. Here we, here we go. Let's do it. Check it out. Ooh, look at that point. 42 to 8. Card down, but not backing down. Yeah. Still gave me something to hit. Wow, okay, so I got that. You got 20 points. Goes into Gord, tempering. Hey, check it out. That's what's up. Protect it. Save me some time. Imposter. Someone's not who they claim to be. There we go, double blight makers. Fantastic to see. Really, really nice. Probably shouldn't click again in case we stuff it. Thank you for the follow, really appreciate it. NG Civil War. <laughs> I shall not repeat Anir's mistakes. Should I be careful about um, playing Calvate? What do you guys think? Because NG. Man, they always screw me with Cantor or something, I swear. <laughs> Maybe I play it real late. Uh, mate, that's you, Nate Dog, not me. What's up, buddy? Uh, nice to see you once more. Quite literally. No good wine will come from here, not even compost. Yeah, I got similar cards by the looks of it. Similar strategy. Calvate blights round one, it's like us. We got the same stratagem as them. Pretty much the same thing here. A fine We're on seven cards. I'm gonna play it slow. I'm very worried. When I vs NG and I play Calvate, I've been burnt before. Absolutely burnt. It's 
Braithens. My goodness. the curse, but who would love such a Please wait your I'm falling behind. Onward, sons of Nilfgaard! Ring. What's ours on? 11 as well. Interesting. Very interesting. At least we get our golds. We get everything we need now. Renegade, there we go. Renegade. Probably. F no. Well, maybe we can play it for ring, can't we? Later, but. And I think we just keep it like this. Hello, Lorda. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. Let's play Truffle. I think it's okay. Watch close. Right. Now we can take ring. Just let it boost. I like it. Very much so. So I play Renegade as the opening play. I'll crush your Take that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. Oh, ho, ho. this is going to be one big ring. Maybe we'll see what they got. Depends what kind of a list it is. You never know. What other options did we have? Sword, do you think? A superb specimen, truly. Could lock. Maybe we lock now. Very the ball You think so? Maybe it should have been for ball, yeah. Too late now for it. We hit that out of all of them, jeez. See? 
Lock. I wonder what the receiver Lot of locks. Okay, bring up. You are dogs, dwarfs, and I shall not reach them as such. No, I think it's a uh, good call. I probably should have done that. Yep. But that's also a very good heat wave. That's that's devastating unanswered. So maybe it still works out for us. So what I got left in deck? Another illusionist. You simply must pay my estate a visit one day. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Double Philippe is so solid. Okay, there goes Yennefer. So ring safe. Ring's huge. Wow. 27. So we're just going for the crossbowman. Are we two, four, five? Yep. Oh my goodness. So good. Look at this, 29 ring. Oh my goodness. Tell me what you That was a big, big win, honestly. Nah, we're not running that in this deck.